Hello, this is Peter with PM Designs. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make this really nice, uh, nice looking iris. Uh, it's not completely real, but it's better than just a, a solid color. Uh, it's really easy, it won't take long, so don't panic if you're new. Um, so yeah, let's get my, get rid of that, let's get a new one. Let's start with a sphere. Obviously, we're doing an eye, so we need a sphere. And, uh, First, the best thing to do is just to make it look a bit smoother. Not completely smooth, but if you want to, you can add a, a subdivision surface modifier later. But yeah, so we need this nice circular part. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is just rotate it on the X by 90 degrees, which is R, X, 9, 0. Yeah, easy. Um, I'm just going to give it a basic white material so it makes it a bit easier to see what we're doing. And then I'm going to give it a black for the pupil uh, but I always like to set this for eyes set the specular to 0 0.1 and bring the roughness right down to zero yeah so it looks nice and shiny you know you can do other ways but this is just a for a basic shiny eye wet looking eye um, I also want to add the uh, pupil um, so yeah let's just get these faces here you may or may not know this, but just to copy all the properties of one material, you know, so we don't have to change the specular and roughness again. Um, just going to add a new one. Click, click new. Oh, yeah, sorry. Click down here. Click new. Copy the top one. Paste material, and it's exactly the same setup now. Same spec, same, but it's the same color, obviously. So all we have to do is just change the color to black, and then assign it to those faces. And here we go. We've got the basic the basic eye. Um, so now we wanted to select these faces here with Alt and click. If you, know, if you click on the one of the sides, you'll get all, all of those. Uh, you get that ring of loop, uh, ring of faces. If you click on the top top edges or the bottom edges, you'll get you know the the strip of faces. Sorry if I use the wrong terminology. I've, you know, I'm self-taught like most of you guys. Uh, so yeah, we're going to do a bit of node editing. It's really easy though, so don't panic. All you need is go to sh <coughs> sorry, go to shading. You can bring in your image image texture, um, but we do need to first. You need to get your image of the iris because we're not going to draw something which looks that good easily. So yeah, just go onto Google and you know preferably type in copyright free because you don't want to get in any trouble. And yeah, we're looking for something which has no glare, a flat image like this. Not you know don't want any glare like that because that's gonna well you know we're working in 3D so it doesn't look very good if you change the light so we want something flat you know oh well, there's not many we could use that and add color with a you know, like a color ramp or something but don't worry about that uh, yeah not many good ones this one would be good yeah I think I've used that one but yeah anyway let's we could have a look for a specific color if we wanted to in this green. Um, yeah, so there's a lot more choice if you're more specific with your color. Um, but yeah, so we get our color, get our uh, sorry, get our iris. I've already got one ready. So we just need to get into our image texture, open it. I've got this blue with two L's, blue iris, and just plug the color into the base color. All right, it won't appear yet. Don't worry about that. That's not a problem. Yeah. Oh, I've done it under the wrong material. Whoops. Yeah. Sorry add a new material there we go Let's do that all over again whoops yeah again search image texture open your iris image your blue iris and plug the color into the color yeah it won't appear don't worry we do have to do a little bit of UV editing just to make sure it's in the right place uh, what's going on here oh this is a previous image I used I don't want this one um, yeah so yeah we need to highlight those faces and switch into them yeah then press U we just hover over that press U and then click unwrap oh, it doesn't all right okay I've got the wrong the wrong image in the background uh, yeah let's change that to blue iris there we go so now click on all the faces on the left side and we adjust the size of this just again, click those faces, and we click U, 
to unwrap and then it appears over here any adjustments you do on the on this UV editing side won't actually affect your mesh it's just adjusting the relative size of the image so just bring that down to about yeah there for the center and click that edge ring and bring that out like that and that's it and that's it and now we just need to assign that material and it's done it's there easy um, the good thing about this is uh, if you wanted to you can actually have the the pupil dilate and, and contract by uh, contract sorry by adjusting the size of that like that it looks quite nice just make sure you don't adjust don't bring it out on the y-axis don't start bringing it forward uh, so when you click size just click shift and y but that's it if you enjoyed that thanks for watching click give a like and subscribe